Anthony Lewis Jr. here with a quick story time. Living in my own apartment has been a hell of an, an experience. Have my own place, doing my own thing, walking around butt ass naked. Nah, but um, on seriousness, okay, this is probably not serious, but it's about 4.59, 5 a.m. And I'm, I'm watching TV. Usually I go for my daily run, daily jog. And I came to real, the realization that summertime is over. Freaking sun is not out, it's dark as hell. And to really get the, you know, understanding that it's over. I want to see if anybody was blocking my damn view at my window. So I go to the window, open a shade, and it's dark as hell. So summer's over, buddy. So I'm like, all right, cool. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up soon, play some video games, do my next video, whatever, and then do some editing. But can't do it on an empty stomach, you know? So thought, you know, blueberry waffles, tree them, and I'm... I go right in my kitchen, and hey, I ain't blind, okay? I'm not Rage Hogs in it, none of this stuff, Stevie Wonder. No, no, I, I knew what I saw. I have a light by my stove, above my stove. It was a big-ass black dot hanging on my ceiling. It looked like one of those, like when you go to like a, a clothing store, any kind of store, and they got that big-ass, like, shaped camera. It looked like that. So I'm like, I know I didn't purchase a camera in my, my apartment. If I did, it would be on the outside, not the inside. I'm just looking at it and it looked kind of weird. So I'm just like, uh, it's probably a hundred, you know, I don't know, bugs just sitting there. I don't know what it was. Okay. I don't know what it was. I ain't want to get close. I'm black. We ain't getting close. Okay. Um, no, I'm not a crocodile hunter. I'm not going to observe, mate. Absolutely not. I'm just walking and I'm just like, uh, I see like the end. It's not too circular because then it has this this little thing hanging from the side. So I'm just like, yeah, uh, this is a bad idea. I'm going to walk backwards and starve myself, you know, for the rest of the day. So what I do is I call my ex-girlfriend. You know, I probably woke up out of her sleep. 5 a.m. Come on, who the hell wants to wake up out of this sleep at 5 a.m.? So I just told her, um, there's, there's a, you know, something out there in the, you know, living room, kitchen, you know, kitchen area. And she's just like waking up and just looking at me like with no concern at all. I'm freaking out, you know, because it's like, what the hell is that? And, you know, hanging, you know, under my my ceiling, you know, and she's just sitting there and she said, let's go check it out. I put the camera. Some, I didn't even keep the light on. It was one of the lights on, but the rest of the house is dark except for the room. So I walks to the area. Didn't want to get close because you never know. It'll jump in my face. I'm pretty. No, nah, I'm not with it. She just kept, we was going back and forth because I'm, I'm I'm petrified right now. Like, yo, I don't know what this is. She's giving me advice. I'm, I'm like, listen, that could be a bird. It could be an ass coming out the ceiling. Like, it could, you know, try to snuggle its way down here. It could be anything. It could, like, broke through the damn thing and just put his booty right through my, my apartment. Like, or, to me, it's a damn bat. So, I thought it was a damn bat. And I told her it might be a damn bat. So, you know... Um, she kept telling me, make sure I turn on the big light, you know, that way I be able to see it. But, you know, the big light is actually next to it. So, my black ass ain't want to, you know, I wasn't getting that close. Um, there's no way in hell I'm getting that close to that shit. I know what that was. Like, mess around and turn to Count Dracula or some joint and... I don't know what it. I don't. I don't know what it was. I assumed it was a bat because it was just sitting there hanging upside down. But it was just in a circle. But it had something hanging on the side of it. I couldn't tell. It was dark. It was a damn bat because you know eventually it took about 15 minutes to finally turn the damn light on. Even though the light is only literally like six steps away. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not that hard. Nah, bro. I'm black. We don't do this. Nah. Mm -mm. I know we got snakes in our house and all that stuff. Pets like you know rabbits and gerbils and dogs cats but bats my name is not bruce wayne hell no i turn i turns on the light finally and it's a damn bat and i'm just like i, I picked a good time to live here right like really oh she's laughing and she's like she's scared as hell she said um i gotta get it out the house duh i paint right here that thing don't so you getting out looking i'm looking i'm looking um it's just sitting there now I'm walking in and out the room, put my gear on. All I had, all I had was a pair of boxes on. All I had was boxes on. No shirt, none of that stuff. When it comes to these hectic situations, situations, people, I put on a full gear, like Grand Theft Auto. I'm putting on a whole suit. I have my ski mask on. 
I had my workout mask on. I had my all black sweater. I had my sweatpants and I had two pair of socks that looked crazy. I looked crazy as hell, but and I had on two pair of gloves. And I had my baseball bat, so it was real. It was real. I'm not I'm not playing. If it be a spider, a daddy long leg, a roach, I don't give a damn what it was. It could be somebody's grandmother. I'm gearing up. I do not care what's going on. I'm gearing up. And I got the Rudolph the Red Nose drink going on. Yeah, like I said, I'm gearing up. I put that whole thing on. I was sweating. Listen, I don't think it was because of the cold, the clothes, excuse me. I don't think it's because of the clothes. I was scared as hell. I was scared. So she told me I gotta get it out the house. She giving me methods and she telling me to throw shit. I said, oh damn, I'm about to start. I'm about to start something. But before all that, I had to get close to Claire, you know, to really know that it was a, a bat. We're on FaceTime, whatever. So um, the camera on, on my end, of course, the camera always looks so damn far. It's so far. But I'm close. She telling me, get closer. What? Get closer? What the hell you mean? Get clo I'm as close as I can be because you can't see? Nah, I'm good. I literally have to be all up in his face. And it'll... Like, do the, the stupid weird noises that it do. And then it has wings that... Them joints move wild fast. Like, like, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. Nah. You call it what you want. You Would you let a bat jump in your face? No. No. And I already know these things. These things, you have rabies and all this kind of diseases. No. I'm not trying to be Magic Johnson, all right? I'm good. So I see the wings. It's just sitting there. It's laying there. Now, like, I put my gear on. I walk back out. Out of the room. The head is moving. It's like... So I'm like, oh... You thought I didn't see you, buddy. I'm going to, you know, moonwalk right back in my room because I'm not having this. Nope. I'm not, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. This They fly and they fast. Like, I haven't been training in, in weeks, so I'm not going to bob and weave. Like... I'm not going to be able to. I'm going to be slow as hell. Punch drunk or some shit like that. Throwing punches and it's going, nah, hell no. I'm good. I'm too young. She's giving me all these methods. She's telling me to throw my boxing gloves at it. She's telling me to throw items that are heavy. I'm throwing everything I could. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. I'm doing softball shit. I used to play baseball too, so I'm just going. I, I used to bowl. I'm bowling. I'm throwing, I'm doing so many things to... to Get it off the ceiling. And first off, she telling me to open the door. See, I'm, I'm going past certain things. I'm missing certain pieces of the story. She told me to open the house door. Mind you, the light and the house door is right next to the damn back. I got to do all that stuff. So I have to hold the camera. Like, I ain't, I, I put the goddamn camera down. No, I need both my hands. I put the camera down so she sees what's going on. I'm looking at it, you know, making sure it don't sneak up on me. You know, you got to be real smooth. And I got to turn the light on. And open the door. And the worst part is my house door don't just unlock and open. It's acting weird. So it's like I got to like shimmy and it's making wild noise. So I, I asked the whole one. Well, I need to know. Is our bats deaf? Because at the end of the day, I'd open this door and it gets nervous. We're going to be shaking in here. We're going to be dead fighting. Like, I'm not, no. Like, is it is it deaf? I, I know they like, well, they blind or something. But I know he ain't deaf. You're going to come up in here, hear some, you know, creak. And she, you know, shaking and start going wild. Like, so she, like, no, they're not deaf. So I said, up, oh. I put myself in the situation. Now I'm freeze, I'm frozen on some mannequin challenge joint. I just, I'm sweating. Like, my, I smell my nuts right now. I'm sweating. Like, bro, I need to get in the shower. This is uncomfortable. So I'm sitting here 60 seconds just trying to figure out what to do before this thing try to make a move. Still got to open the door because that's the only way it's getting out the house. So I'm shimmying the door. The door finally opened. I'm looking. It's not moving. So I'm like, all right, cool beans. The door wasn't open all the way. I went right back in the room. I'm like, I'm supposed to leave. I didn't even open the door all the way. I opened the door a little bit. I cracked it open. Like, it's going to be like, all right, well, I'm out. No. She said, open the door all the way. I said, now I got to walk back out there and open the door all the way. And now since I noticed I bat in my house, I'm thinking there's going to be another one. Sitting outside my door, like, listen, we going to crash up in here. We don't know what you're doing, but we tired. So I opened the door. But she gave me something smart to do because, you know, you don't, you know, you're scared as hell. You don't think. She's like, get the broom, get your distance, and open that door. I did what I did. The light is on now. Now the light is on. Now I'm like, oh, yeah. Now he about to really wake up and wash me because now I'm interrupting his sleep. 
bat was still sitting there. That's I, that's when I really started throwing stuff, and I missed. So I just said, F it. And she said, yo, you got to do something. You got to hit it. I grabbed that broom. And I'm like, I'm just trying to measure it. I'm like, I said, smack. All of a sudden, it's just like, I see it shaking. Like, I'm like, oh. I'm like, all right, well, now it's that moment I fucked up. I'm about to get my ass whooped in this house. I ran in the room like a bitch. I don't care. I'm going to admit it. I ran. I'm out. All right? I'm out. I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm out. Went back in the room. Came back out. It was still, it was still in the ceiling. I said, boy. I, I, I just realized something like, I actually like animals. That's the thing about me. I love animals. I hate animal cruelty no matter what it was. Bugs and shit like that. I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh my gosh, look at it. And then it's crawling on me. Then it bites me. And then I turn to some shit. Nah, I'm stepping right on you. Smack. Just like that. But when it came to me hitting that bat and I watched it like shake, kind of reminded me of, you know, seeing the animal cruelty stuff that I see on TV. And I, I, I felt actually, I was actually about to cry. Dead serious. I know, I know my images look crazy. I'm a boxer who's a tough guy and I'm scared of little ass bats. I'm throwing shit like, like a woman. Ah! And now I'm just like about to cry because I smacked the hell out of a bat. Like I'm looking like a real sucker right now, but who cares? I'm just, I kept the door closed, sat right on the bed for like, probably like seven, ten minutes, sitting there all sad because like, damn, she she on the phone laughing, she laughing right at me, <laughs> you was a bitch, <laughs> and I'm just like, just sad, because it's like, damn, that could have been me, I'll, I'll stay somewhere because I need to be comfortable, somebody smack me with a broom, and I'm hurt. I want somebody to feel sorry for me too. But, you know, it's a bat. Listen, you got rabies, bro. I'm broke. I can't go to the hospital. I don't know. I can't afford it. And then I can't call no exterminator. Bro, it's hard out here. Yes, 100 beans, bro. I don't give a damn how much money I got. It's hard out here. Like, you wildin'. She gave me another method, which was get um a bucket and put it over or uh, under the bat and get uh, um something to cover it. So I find my garbage small garbage I got in the room. I pick it up, to, you know, um, I go out and grab a cardboard. I cut the cardboard. I'm scared as hell. I'm like going back and forth, like trying to figure out. I'm now, now I'm moving like a boxer. Like right, I'm about to stick and move. I put the thing under the, um, the bucket over it, under it, whatever. It's hanging. That was hanging. I hear it. And I see the legs like just, they just drop. And now it's like smacking the, the damn, the bucket. I hear wild noise. Like, and it feels kind of creepy. Now, now I'm about to shake. Now I'm about to drop the bucket. And I know once I drop that bucket, it's a wrap. Now my, my hands are sweaty. I have sweaty palms. It gets slippery. I drop it. Then the movement. Yeah. This That bat is never coming out this house. So I kept it cool. Shaking. I grabbed it. Held it up. I put the um the cardboard. You know, I slid it through, whatever. And I left the bucket outside. Just the way it was. With the lid on top. But listen, I'm waiting for you to leave. It didn't leave, and she told me, pick it up, put it by um, by the field, whatever. I said, listen, I'm not going to open up the lid. I open up the lid, it's going to like smack me in my face. and be like, yo, what you did to me? And you start attacking me. Nah, so I just kicked the bucket. Actually, I didn't kick the bucket. That's a damn lie. I thought about kicking the bucket. I thought about it. So I grabbed the broom again, used the measuring stick, pushed it. Tipped over, it flew. It was flying in my direction. I ran back in the house. I saw it running in my direction, looked the opposite direction, basically to close the door. We don't run in a direction and look the opposite direction. We don't do that. Black people, we, we, don't, we don't do that. We don't do that. That's why, you know, these white people always tripping in the movies and kill us what happens to get them and, oh, I fell. And, you know, nine times ten, you tripped on nothing. You shouldn't be looking. Look in the way you're running. So, I don't know. I thought it went back in the house. It didn't. I guess it did some motion drink. You know, the get out challenge, you run forward and you run the other direction. Yeah, it, it did that shit. It did the get out joint that that man did in the movie. It did the running thing or did the flying thing. Then it flew away. And she said, oh my gosh, I want to see. Let's look. It's gone. That wasn't the plan. The plan was not to release it and look. No, it was to release it, like release it and get the hell out. Go back in the house, make my waffles. But yeah, you know, people are extra. This is like the worst experience to me. 
fucking bat was just hanging. It's not like we was up in here fighting, you know? It was just hanging. It was just sitting there. Nothing happened, but it was still scary. Like, bro. Oh, man. But yeah, that is my bat story. Um, just know, like, the rest of the day, I'm going to actually be like this. Looking in my apartment, wondering if these things will come back because... I'm gonna be honest with you, everything is closed. I got two windows. Where the hell did he come from? Or it, whatever it was. I don't know where it came from, so. That's a problem. And I had my door open the whole entire time. It could have like, it could have laid on my face in my sleep. It could have been dropping in my face. Like, it could have been teabagging me right now, like, as I, as I was sleeping. It could have been doing all this kind of crazy stuff. And I didn't know. I see my door open, like, this whole entire time, I woke up to go get breakfast. My door's open the whole entire time. You could have went in the room and said, listen, I'm about, to, I'm about to really, like, ride your face. I'm about to do some crazy drink. Like, I'm about to really violate. Like, I should shit in your mouth while, while, you, while you sleep. Like, you could do anything. Like, anything could happen. It could bake potatoes on my face. I don't know what it's going it's, it's to do. Like, I don't know. That's the end of my damn story, all right? That's my, my problem, my story time. Hope you have a blessed day. Don't get attacked by no bats. Don't do what I did and smack it. All right, because that's animal cruelty, but they do have rabies. Listen, I ain't going to give y'all a 411 or whatever the hell. But yeah, I'm talking too damn much. It's been 20 minutes or however many minutes. I will edit this video, but peace.